Hello everyone and welcome back to Dust and Elysian Tale. So to start us off, I think I think the first thing, right? The first thing I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go to settings and we're just gonna we're just gonna boost that up to hardcore. Cause this game is going a little bit too easy. I don't want bosses dying like Fuse did. So that's the first thing we're gonna do. Second thing we're gonna do is I actually wanna go try this. You can Ah, uh, ha, 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 you can do that. All right, I have an idea. Just wait and see this. If you remember, there was this area that I couldn't get up last time because I blew these guys up. Well, I guess you really just can't get up there then. Okay, cool, never mind. Forget, forget I said anything. Oh, whoa. I just oh oh okay I just got a key I didn't I didn't even know that was there what I actually wanted to do was not that okay we need to go down two levels and then go the right and then somewhere in here was the blue door and we're gonna check that out as well and then we have to go back to out no wait, this, no not Abadi Forest is it Abadi Forest we gotta go somewhere I think it was Abadi Forest and then go through the gate there because there's there's a thing in there that lets her make stuff for us on the fly and that seems really important so we're gonna do those two things first and then we'll uh. We'll do some other fun stuff, like turning in quests and all that. Oh! Oh, that thing was just right here. I thought that was down more. Wait, what? Isn't this the arena thing? Oh! It teleports us down the mountain! Oh, that's cool. Don't worry, I put her cage in a safe place. If you ever need to find her, just climb up high above the wooden bridge near Denim. And don't try doing that wall jump move of yours to get to her. You'll fall and break your neck. Okay, uh, that, that sounds like they're referring to like another like caged creature. You know, I, you know, guys, listen, we don't need to be doing this right now. Okay, here. Okay, cause we didn't, we didn't actually go right here when we were coming up, so now I do want to check out over here. Plus we get some wall chickens, which is always good. Okay, okay, and we can open that. Really? 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 Okay, cool. Cool, cool. No, it's fine. I, no, I didn't even want to go that way. Oh, that's what the colors stand for. Oh. Oh, that, you know what? That makes sense. Well, gotta try to find this thing in Abadie Forest. I don't, I don't remember where it was. It's, it, but it's in here somewhere. So, uh, gonna be doing a little bit of exploring. Oh, I think I finally found it. Oh my god. It was really far in here. Oh, I need a fruit. Oh, oh, uh, I'll find one of those. Alright, comes this way, fruit. I have some magic wall to show you. There we go. Alright, so then the thing is in here. Yep. Can you hear me? Oh my god, she's gone virtual! Haley, is that you? Where are you calling from? From beyond the grave! Ooh! Ah, demon blacksmith! That's the worst kind of blacksmith! <laughs> Would you calm down? I'm at home with Maddie. I see you found my dad's lost receiver. Yeah, and it seems to be working. That's great! Now, if you ever need to craft an item, you can do it directly from your inventory. Now, Dots, this doesn't mean I don't want you coming up to visit me in person. But at least I can keep an eye on you and help you out whenever you need me. See, she's totally into me. That Now you, you could definitely tell. <laughs> sure, Haley. I really appreciate the help. All right, cool. So we got that. So now we're good on that. Got the wall chicken. And uh, yeah, I think we're about done here. Except now I just got to get out of this sprawling maze. Hey, there's a chest here. I'll take that too. Whoops, messed up. Okay, I guess this doesn't do anything. Did I just, oh, I got a pretzel. I got several pretzels. Wait a minute, let me look at the pretzels. Oh, dude, that's pretty good. <laughs> Cause I, What's this? Oh, Cure Silence. Oh, that's cool, too. Alright, neat. Whoa! 
Oh, that- Oh, wow. I am the best. I do fly around everywhere or do something eventually. Hey, see, I got Mrs. I don't remember her name, but it's from Super Meat Boy again. All right, neat. I did not expect there to be a secret by flying through all of these guys to the top of the world. But you know what? I, I guess I should start doing that more often now. It finally happened. It finally happened. Wow. 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 Wow, 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 wow. That's what happens. We don't pay attention, I guess. What? Alright, I get why it happens. Because it's on a slope and I'm not jumping to dodge. God damn it, Dust. God damn it. God fucking damn it, dude. Hey, a new pendant. Sure, I'll take it. Why not? At least they get something this time. There. Okay, talk to you first. I think I have your stuff. Please, let me know if you come I don't keep my- Much appreciate- no, Did I not? What did he need? Five impites. I don't have five impites? I have three. Okay, I'm just gonna buy two more. Yeah. Whatever. I'll, I, I'll just- I'll just get it for you. <laughs> it's great to see you back, son. I knew you could do it. The monsters have already calmed their advance. Tell me, what happened? Did you confront their leader? Uh, killed is probably more accurate? He was right where you said he'd be. In fact, he seemed to be waiting for us. Which is surprising considering he died pretty quick. You'd think he'd be a lot tougher if he was looking for a fight. Waiting? In the middle of a small village, surrounded by the innocents he killed. Oh no, that could only be Denham Village. Uh, did you find any survivors? I'm sorry, Mayor Bram, but there were none. This creature that attacked the village, he was some kind of lizard. Wore strange armor, called himself Fuse. A lizard, you say? Oh, a moonblood, perhaps. I wonder if Ginger would know anything about that. Ginger? That girl up on the hill? Her family was killed almost a year ago in Zeplik Village, a few days' journey to the north. General Gaius and his soldiers were looking for Moonblood sympathizers. Oh wow, so they're just killing everybody then. They're killing Moonblood sympathizers. Everybody dies. General Gaius, do you know who he is? Not personally. His is not a name we utter here without proper cause. I've never seen him or his soldiers personally, but tragedy tends to follow in their wake. So why did they kill Ginger's family? They were helping the Moonbloods, of course. Helping the enemy is a treasonous offense. Ginger escaped, but her parents and her brother did not. Regardless, I can't thank you enough for putting a stop to that mad beast before he came any closer to Aurora. If you want to ask Ginger about Fuse, I'd suggest you hurry. It looked like she was preparing to leave town for a while. Good luck. How is she gonna leave town? There's monsters everywhere. What the heck? Oh! Oh, there's a person up here. Oh, hi. You're new. Are you travelers? Maybe you can help me? I can't find my little brother, Corbin. Don't tell me. He's in Abadee Forest. He's not in the village? No, he's not here. I can't find him, and I've looked absolutely everywhere. Don't worry. I'll keep an eye out for him. What's your name? My name is Colleen. Oh, I wonder if he left the village. He could get hurt. Calm down, Colleen. I'll look for him. Where did you see him last? I think he was doing something for Mr. Gianni. But whenever I ask him about Corbin, he says he's too busy. I really don't like that guy. Oh, it's that guy. It's, miss it's Mr. I'm too fancy. I'll smoke a pipe everywhere I go, guy. Oh, boy. We're gonna have to kill him. Gianni, huh? Okay, wait here. If you find Corbin, please bring him home. I'm really getting worried about him. Yeah, I guess we're just gonna have to kill Mr. Giovanni, man. 
I, you know, I, maybe I really shouldn't be in charge of doing this kind of things. My my answers are always like, oh, this guy did something wrong, let's just kill him. That, those are my kinds of answers. Maybe, maybe that's not always the correct answer. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe it's the correct answer. I mean, I still think we should kill him, and I mean, hey, why not, right? Oh, Dust. We are indebted to you for what you've done for us. Gian and I are just going to rest for a bit here in Aurora. But while we're here, could you do some stuff for us? Actually, maybe you could speak with him? He would never admit it to me, but I just know something is troubling him. Of course. Where is he now? He's been pacing near the west entrance of the village, near the field where you rescued us. Thank you, Dust, for everything. Oh, well, thank you for the level up. Let me just, uh, let me just go, uh, do that stuff. There we go. Almost got defense to max. Then we can start doing the other stats so I can get more of that attack. Because I need some more of that attack, that delicious looking attack. Oh. I don't get it. Why would anyone want to help those awful lizard things? That fuse guy burned down an entire village! You see, this is the kind of thinking that probably caused all this to happen in the first place. This is what caused General Gaius. Let's just kill all of them! Holy crap, he sounds like me. Am I the bad guy? Don't you understand, Fidget? He wasn't born that way. General Gaius and his soldiers turned him into that monster. And Fuse is likely not the only one corrupted by General Gaius's hatred of the Moonbloods. We should speak to Ginger again to learn more about this conflict. See, General Gaius is like my thing. He's like, I don't like Moonbloods. Let's just kill all of them. Oh my god. I have I have the thinking of, a, of an evil man. Oh, you again. Mayor Bram said you'd left already. Yes, he asked us to stop the leader of these monsters. Turns out it was a Moonblood named Fuse. He'd gone completely insane. Fuse? Oh no. He was leading those monsters? You killed him? No, I just gave him a big ol' hug. So you know him then? Was he always a homicidal pyromaniac? <laughs> oh, of course! I remember back when we were four, he set a whole village on fire! Killed everybody! It was fun times! What? No, never! Why did you kill him? He destroyed Denim Village, Ginger, slaughtered dozens of innocent people. He refused to listen to reason and planned to attack Aurora next. I had to stop him. This war is turning all of us into monsters. Thank you, then, for releasing Fuse from his madness. Well, you turned around real quick on that, okay. Right before the end, he seems lucid. He told me a few things before he passed. He tried to tell me about the war, about your family. He was there the day my family was killed, yes. He was picking up supplies to bring back to his people. General Gaius attacked our village, burned it to the ground. I thought Fuse had been killed. Now I wish he had. I'm sorry. And why is that? The last time I saw an outfit like yours was the day my family was murdered. That outfit, it belongs to Gaius's soldiers. Who are you, really? Probably an assassin for General Gaius, but I've lost my memory, so that means I guess I'm kind of okay. I don't know. That is not an answer. Hey, ease off. Dust can't remember, okay? He doesn't even know his real name. You know, you should be more thankful. He just saved this village twice, and I... Well, I watched him do it. And I'm also really hungry. Really, really hungry right now. Fidget, please calm down. She's right to be suspicious. I don't know who I am, but I'm dressed as one of Gaius' soldiers. And that can't be good. Perhaps. But your friend is right. You saved my village twice today. Gaius and his soldiers would never do that. Especially if they knew I was here. Okay, well let's talk. Tell me about the war. Why is Gaius so obsessed with killing these Moonbloods? What do they do? Yeah, the guy kind of sounds like Hitler if you think about it. Nothing. They exist. General Gaius sees them as an impurity. A kind of cosmic mistake that he believes must be wiped from this world. I've tried to help where I can, but it's hard. There aren't many Moonbloods left outside of their homeland, and it's only a matter of time before Gaius wipes them out entirely. Is there anything I can do to help? Huh, so wait a second. So this guy just doesn't like Moonbloods. And he somehow put together, like, this huge army capable of killing all of them? 
How? How? If only one man could stand against an army. Sadly, no. There's nothing any of us can do. Any hope for the Moonbloods died with my family. Mayor Bram mentioned you were leaving town. Yes. The rivers and streams around Aurora are beginning to dry up completely. Without water, the only thing to do is head north. It's only a matter of time before the others follow me. Why would the rivers all be drying up? It's not like it's been very hot. And wasn't there a big rainstorm a little while ago? I know, it doesn't make any sense. To be honest, I think this whole country is cursed. General Gaius' bloodlust has scorched this land forever. I doubt we'll ever recover. I don't- I don't- I don't think that's how it works, but okay, I'll t uh, okay, sure. If the only way to stop this war is to stop General Gaius, then I need to know where to find him. His campaign continues to the north. If you want to help right the wrongs of your kind, you're free to join me. I'm afraid. Oh, that's probably not good. Whoa! What was that? It came from the center of the village! Hello what? there. What are these things? That's a good question. Monsters! Ginger, get down! Oh, looks like they're not very tough, though. Alright, well, that's that. <laughs> that's the last of them. Ginger, are you okay? I'm... I'll be fine. You should go down below and find out what's happening. Alright. You shouldn't stay here, Ginger. It's too dangerous. Head north. We'll catch up with you after we've gotten to the bottom of this. Yeah, head north through the monster-ridden roads and you'll be fine. Stay safe, Dust. We'll meet again at Roan Pass. At the foot of the Blackmore Mountains. I totally know where that is. Alright, cool. We also have to talk to Mr. Giovanni. I know his name isn't Giovanni, but I'm calling him Giovanni. So we're all just gonna have to deal with it. Oh, I gotta talk to you too. <sighs> Mosca, I'm afraid I have some bad news. Oh? Is everything alright? We traveled to Denim. It's been burnt to the ground. What? Oh, no. No, no, no! But there was a note. It's addressed to you, from somebody named Sarahi. Sarahi? Oh, thank goodness. She must be alive. She must have escaped. Please, let me see it. What do you think, Mosca? She mentions a place that only the two of us know about. It's a hidden cove not far from here. Please, Dust, go there and see if she's safe. I'll be following, but I'm no fighter. Oh, I could see that, yeah. If you insist on coming along, be sure to keep your distance. Yeah, when Dust starts swinging that sword, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Have you seen the screen? He just goes... <laughs> Especially when he does that flying move where he shoots up into the sky. That, everything goes crazy then. Okay, we also gotta talk to this guy over here. Hello, fella! You wanna die to me? So I'll kill you right now. Gianni, I want to ask you about a boy named Corbin. Ah, have you seen him? Where has that foolish boy run off to? I was hoping you could tell me. He must still be wasting time in Ivydale Glen. I just knew I shouldn't have trusted that boy with cleaning my fabrics. Why do you- Why do you have to have your stuff cleaned in Ivydale Glen? What? Corbin is doing your laundry outside the village? I do not see why this is so difficult to comprehend. But then I suppose you don't have the capacity for rational thought. If you are so concerned, maybe you should go look for him instead of waffling about. Can I kill him? Can I please, please kill this guy? Please, come on, just a little bit, just a little kill him. Oh, I'll find him. Then we're going to have a little chat. By the way, I'm an assassin. Do you want to die? Because you look like you want to die. Okay, then I gotta go talk to, uh, that one, that one chick's husband, the farmer. Uh, not you guys, I don't care about y'all. There you are, how you doing? Ah, Dust, thank you again for your help. How's your leg doing? I think I'll be alright. Just need some time to think, is all. Is there anything else? It sounds like you've got something on your mind. <laughs> it's not obvious, eh? Very well. I haven't told Oneida, but I do believe I lost my pocket watch when those giants attacked us. That's it? Uh, and it's valuable? To me, yes. To the both of us, really. It was a wedding gift from her father. 
In fact, it's really the only thing we have to remember him by. Okay, never mind. Fair enough. I think I may have dropped it outside the farm just before those creatures chased us back here. With my leg the way it is, I really can't be out looking for it. I'll go take a look. Thank you, Dust. Really, you don't know how much this means to me. Well, time to go pocket watch hunting. Never thought this is this is how this would go in my life. Gihan's farm is just its own area. All right. Well, let's go look for a pocket watch. Pocket watch. Oh. Those monsters really tore the place apart. Hey, Fidget, can you use that sixth sense of yours to find Gian's watch? Hmm. Yeah, actually. I'm getting something from down that big scary hole in the ground. Why is it always a big scary hole in the ground? I'll have to get back to you on that, Fidget. In the meantime, we should clear it out for Gian and Oneida. How did this hole even happen, though? Well, we're going in. Woohoo! Oh, I, I wanted to. Okay, whatever. It's fine. All right. Oh boy, it's caves. It's it's just it's caves. There's probably the box down here too that that one guy wants. I okay. I need a fruit. I need explodey fruit. Oh oh, I get it. No. Hey, I did it. Get come here, wall chicken. Oh, there's more. Is there is there a closer fruit I could maybe? Oh, that one. Okay, come on, get up here. Oh, okay, maybe 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 I could start from up here and then I'll just fly. You know what? Yeah, that's a lot more convenient. Okay, well I mean there's no really there's not monsters in this place really, so I, this is like this ain't too bad. We're just we're just blowing up walls, getting wall chicken. Okay, come on now. There we go. Okay, cut. I only have two seconds to do this. You can't be getting it much farther away. All right, this one. All right, this is the more convenient one. Cool. Give it. Okay, cool. Now, now that we have all the wall chickens dead, let's go deeper into the cave. Oh, there's the watch, but uh, you know, it's probably not going to be super easy to get it. If I had to guess, what the heck? I think I get it. Okay, well, this is gonna be annoying. Oh, then you gotta go up. And then you gotta go down. Down, keep going. There you go. You gotta go this way. Oh, jeez. Gonna have to thread the needle. Directly up. No! Oh, okay, 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 okay. Cool. Keep going. Wait a minute, I can't. Wait a minute. You have to excuse me. There we go. Got the watch. Well, that was that was a, not that was not what I thought it was gonna be. I thought it was just gonna be we don't have to. Oh, there's treasure in here. Where is there treasure in here? Treasure. I don't know how there's supposed to be treasure in here. I've looked like everywhere, but I I don't know. Okay, I don't, I'm just gonna say I don't know. I don't know where the treasure is in here. We could just we could just move on. Unless it's out here. Oh, there's treasure out here. What the heck? Why is there? What did this get here? Well, gonna have to open it now. There we go. Oh wow, we got some good stuff. Got some slime mail, even though that's worse than what I have, so it doesn't really matter. But that's fine. I'll take it. I also gotta buy uh, two imp hides from the the, uh, the shopkeep too. I forgot about that. Here, I'll talk to you first. I got your stuff. You found it! Oh, this is the nicest thing anyone's ever done for me. You must have had a horrible life then. That I mean, that wasn't that bad. Well, um, we did save your life, remember? Yes. Well, I meant aside from that. Okay. Thank you so much, you two. I have little to offer in return, but here, take this set of treasure keys. That is, that is good stuff, dude. I'll take that all Thank day. Thank you, Gian. I'm glad we were able to be of service. <sighs> Having this pocket watch back puts my mind at ease. Thanks, Dust. 
Thank you for those keys, though. Oh, that is some good stuff right there. All right, well, now let's go do some other stuff in the village real quick. Oh, he's got more stuff. Oh, he's got, like, sushi-looking stuff. Oh, that's that's legit. He's got hot cocoa. He's got hot co- that is, that is good. That is good stuff right there. I don't think he has anything else I could use here, though. Nope. <laughs> no, he does not. Okay. Well, I'm gonna have to buy uh, two of these off you. And then I guess I can start selling some stuff, because I, re I, re I really don't need this. Like, I don't need that. I don't need that. I don't need this. Or that. Or this. Or both of these, to be honest. There we go. That's oh, and we don't need this either. Or this. There we go. Look, our inventory's looking a little bit nicer. Let's get another key. All right. There we go. We're just gonna buy all those keys. Got your stuff. Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. Great. Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. Oh boy. I'd like to upgrade our weapons. Beast spears, while primitive, have finely chiseled stone tips that we can use for arrowheads. If you could bring me eight beast spears, I'll buy them for a high price. Do I do I even have those? I have zero. I'm just gonna go buy them. I can't I I can't be bothered to go find this stuff. We have them cataloged anyway, so whatever. Okay, got your beast spears. Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. Great. Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. Of course you can. There's a rare material out there that I've heard can be distilled into a very strong lacquer for armor. Of course, I'm talking about slime. If you could bring me four slimy spikes and four slimy coats, I'll pay you handsomely. I'll even throw in a little extra since it's likely to be a bit, uh, well, slimy. Four slimy spikes and four slimy coats. I hope I have at least one of those. Please, do I have one of those? I I didn't I didn't mean literally one. Oh my god. Got your stuff again. Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. Great. Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. Yeah. Those hides you provided worked out great. But I'd like to reinforce their armor with materials from those hulking giants out there. If you could bring two giant rocks and two giant cores, we'd be all set. I'll pay you way more than you'd get by selling it. Here are those materials you asked for, Faye. I already had them. Sweet. Got it. Great. Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. How many quests you got? Those reinforcements really help strengthen the guard's armor. But now it's a bit too rigid. I'd like to add some flexibility using a few materials you can only find on flying pink ovies. I don't even know what those are. Let's see. Uh, Ovi wings, wings and Ovi claws. Ovi wings and Ovi claws. Ovi wings and Ovi claws. Uh, there. Okay, I have three and three, so I just need three and three, right? Because he needed six. Yep, three and three. I mean, to be fair, I am still making an absolute butt ton of money off this, so I guess it's fine. But like, geez, man, this is a lot of quests. Here are those materials you asked for, Fail. Great. Here's your payment. If you're willing, I could use your help again. The the guards gotta be looking like Daedric lords by now. What else could I get them? I've got one last job for you, Dust. Oh, sure. There's a strange flying creature called a florn that lives around these parts. Can shoot balls of electricity from its tentacles. A real nasty customer. If you could gather three florn tentacles and three florn sparks, I can use them to reinforce our guards' armor and give their weapons a bit of an extra kick. I'll pay a premium for them that you won't get from the shops around here. Florn tentacles and florn... I don't think I have florn sparks. I have... I have Florin tentacles, but I haven't been able to find a single Florin spark. So that one I can't do. But everything else, whatever, we're good for now. I have so much money. I can buy some more keys with this kind of money. Oh my god. He is paying premium value for that. Let's go, let's get, let's get some stuff. Welcome back. Let's get some more keys. Get some, give me, give me some more of them keys though. I'm, all, I'm taking that and that. And can't get any more. Okay, they only got one key left. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. I think we got like a ton of keys now, don't we? Six. I mean, it's kind of a ton. It's like, it's it's. It, I, that, that's enough for like two chests and and one animal cage. I mean, that's 
That's something! Okay, I think we're supposed to go underground here, though, aren't we? Oh, hey, there you are, Mr. Boxman. Oh, yeah, I think we're supposed to go down here. That's right, because there was an explosion that happened, and now, now this is just open. Oh, you're down here, too. What are you doing down here? <laughs> well, now, would you look at this? Seems our village has got itself a new basement. I don't know if you should be so happy about that. You don't seem too concerned. <laughs> Trust me, not much happens here. So when things start crawling out of the ground, you pull up a chair and enjoy the show. Okay. Okay, Augustine, but promise me that you'll stay here. I don't need anyone getting hurt. Bah! And let you have all the fun? Well, I guess you're the one with the sword, after all. Exactly, and it talks. So that's like, it's like, it's like doubly, doubly important. So I can go down or I can go left. Let's go right first. Let's do none of the above. What's over here? Oh, it's just save thing. I mean, we keep going this way, though. Oh. End of the line. Looks like a pretty nasty drop. Yes, very nasty. We should go around, I think. There's no time to find another route. Those monsters came up through here. There's got to be a path down below. Well, here goes nothing. Okay, so that's the way I'm supposed to go. So let's not go that way. We'll hit the nasty drop after after I search around everywhere else. I want to, cause I want to make sure we get everything here. You know, is that is those those are those are arena flags. <laughs> oh, let's do it, baby. Oh, jeez, that is a lot of fire. Uh, gee, uh. That, damn it. I didn't realize they stopped. Okay, we're doing- No! No, I missed it! Damn it. I, I, I always miss those goddamn lanterns! Oh, well, I guess it doesn't matter anyways. It's gonna take a little nap nap. Alright, this time, no messing around. No fooling around. Here we go, baby. And we're just gonna go chop, and we're gonna keep going. We're gonna wait, we're gonna go chop, we're gonna keep going. And then we're gonna go chop, and we're gonna go down. There's a lot of lanterns on this one. Okay. Now let's just not do anything stupid this time. No stupid things. There we go. Look, he's dead. Just that easy. Keep going. Lantern. Okay, I hope I didn't miss one on that giant fall. Okay, you guys, you guys, just stop shooting stuff at me. God, my tech is not as good as it. Oh my god! Okay, okay, all right. Hang on a second. Okay, all right, all right. Just keep it up. Oh, jeez. It's nice and easy. Nice and easy. Don't get burned. Oh, god damn it. All right, all right. Doing okay? Please be done. Wait a minute! No! Hit it! Hit the damn thing! Why? There's no lock-on for the, the lamps? Why is there no lock-on for the lamps? No! I'm angry. I'm, I'm, a little, I'm a little bit flustered. I'm a little bit flustered that I missed that last one. I was a little bit cheesy. I don't know if I did it. I don't know if I was good enough. Re I was that far off? What? Jeez, dude. How was I that far off from getting the- Okay, alright, this is- This is not okay. I give up. Good enough. Good enough. Good. I don't. Whatever, dude. I'll come. I'll come back with the strong. I don't care. That 
Close enough. We did it. We win. We're the winners. Jeez, man. That is like, what the hell? Alright, so I think we're gonna have to end this episode here. Jeez, this was a frustrating episode, man. All of a sudden, like... I turned up the difficulty and obviously things got harder, but this defense means nothing! It means nothing to anybody! I, like, it- I still get one shot, like, it doesn't even matter! <laughs> like, what's happening, man? But anyways, so, on the next episode, we're gonna be dropping down into a cave and hopefully everything doesn't one shot me still. But, you know, you never know, I guess. But so, so, oh gosh. So thank you for watching, if you enjoyed the episode, Hit that like button, and I will see you all next time. Bye-bye.